beautiful morning for a walk. I think I'll take me a brisk walk in this cool weather and look at these beautiful mountains with the sun shining on them. I hope everybody had a good night and looking forward to some great views again today. So one thing I'm not really showing much on the videos is the water crossings. Uh, Special Moments took that one here a few videos back where I took a spill, <laughs> lost my balance and fell. That's actually been the only one that I fell on. Some of them at first after that, I was just crossing over through the water, taking my shoes and socks off. Uh, but lately I've been getting really used to the rocks again. I crossed a few in the desert, never had any problems, but that one like worried me because obviously the water rushes here a little quicker. So I wanted to uh, get over and just get my feet wet versus getting everything else wet. Uh, but I've been crossing every one of them, probably three or four a day uh, with no issues. This one I just did, this is the second one of the day already. It's only like 7.30. <laughs> but this one was a little tough because you have to, you know, kind of, the rocks like in that area are all kind of wet, covered. To, it was hard getting past that without getting wet, but I only got a little bit wet on a toe. Uh, but then you come up here to this slanted rock, which, uh, you know, you're slippery by that point, but got over it with no problem. So that's a good thing. Hopefully that continues. It's always a little worrisome when you're crossing the water and the water's rushing like that, because obviously it could be dangerous if you fall down, but more, I mean, it's not so much dangerous unless it's deep uh, or really strong. But the uh, problem with me is, you know, if I fall, I'm going to get everything wet and that's not going to be a good night. So anyway, onward and upward, looks like we're getting a little boulders here. Uh, going to be heading down for a little bit and then straight back up on another pass. Uh, right now, the name of the pass slips my mind. But then after that is the Muir Pass. So I'm looking forward to that one. There's a cool older shelter up there I want to see, you know historic but it's supposed to be really nice uh but the pass is too i hear so um uh, that's the plan for today is get over the first one get to the base of the second one unless feeling frisky might even go up the second one but there's quite a distance between them i got seven miles just to the first uh peak or first uh, pass uh but better than yesterday because instead of 3500 feet of elevation it's only like 2000 of elevation because of where we are already at about 11,000. Here's another creek crossing right here. So I'll go ahead and cross this. And ew, that water is kind of, yeah. <laughs> but this is a simple one. Just simply cross over, over, and we're done. I like the simple ones. Two rocks and you're done. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just get back on trail here. Heading down. And you'll be seeing some good views along the way. And then I'll see you on top of the pass. Here's number four water crossing. I think uh, only about an hour into it today. This one's a little tougher. Rocks are more spread out. I made it. I started to slip on one of them, but I caught myself. Yay, no, no getting wet yet. Four of them, four crossings in today so far. <laughs> oh, this could be one of those days. I feel like I'm playing a video game today. Each level keeps getting harder. <laughs> this is number five river crossing. Oh, those are very spread apart and that's a long way over there. <sighs> hate this. I mean, I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't like it to be too hard though. I don't want to get wet. Oh boy. Number five four miles from Mather Pass, which is the next pass. I've been told by a couple hikers it's a fairly easy one with the trail. 
but obviously it's not with the river cross he's going there so wish me luck on this one well i made it i had to get a, a little imaginative on that one it was rushing pretty good so i went down the creek a little bit or the river and uh went over it and then it splits and there becomes another part and that one had like the falls in it or the uh not necessarily the falls but the oh i don't know what you call it. i guess it's little falls it was rushing pretty good i put my pole in to kind of see how much pressure it had and it was like it moved it so easily pretty strongly uh one thing you might not know about me which is going to seem kind of ironic and funny since i'm from florida you know is there pretty much my whole adult life uh is that i don't actually swim <laughs> so i have to be extra cautious going across those because i don't want to get swept away and have to be in a situation where i'd have to swim with a backpack on because i don't know that i could do that so uh i got over the first one on the stones the second one i had to wade across i took the shoes off and waded across it which isn't really that easy either because all the stones are very very slippery uh, so you could still easily fall but that looked like the easiest option for me i made it over so water crossing number five for today is done according to the map it looks like there's another one up here soon hopefully it's not quite as mean and violent as that one but we will see we will do what we have to do to keep going now i have to find the trail since i went a little bit down and uh continue on all right I'll see you all later starting to climb up to mather pass the trail is lovely so far. So far what uh, I've been told by some other hikers coming the other direction is true. It's a lovely, lovely trail. There's a mountain, but and there's a mountain. <laughs> and there's a mountain besides that. Oh, look, and there's another mountain. But besides that, I'm just in trees right now. I've been in trees for quite some time. I'm up to number seven. I've just completed number seven water crossing. There's still one showing on the map. So that would be eight, but some of the smaller ones, <laughs> excuse me, I think a mosquito just went in my throat. Uh, but the smaller ones don't show up on the map, so they keep coming in there too. This is by far the most water crossings I've done in a day. And I think it's like 8 or 8.30 in the morning. So this could be a record-breaking day by far. At the rate we're going, I might have 15 water crossings. <laughs> but, uh... Having a good time here today. Got a good early start this morning. Minimal back pain right now. Just my normal back pain. It's not almost debilitating like it had been the last couple days. So that's good. I knew there was going to be rough days and harder days, I should say. More painful days sometimes. And the last few days were definitely that. It still definitely hurts and it'll probably hurt more going up. But once I'm up, I start going down again. Uh, and hopefully camp right below Muir Pass and knock that one out first thing in the morning. Maybe knock two of them out tomorrow. But uh, it's beautiful here. Nice to be in the shade. Skies look somewhat clear. A couple clouds, but nothing stormy. So hopefully the rain will stay away today. Obviously that hinders the miles as well. All right. See y'all in a little bit. Here's number eight. Look at that. Looks like the red carpet was rolled out for me. Big, huge rocks don't even come close to the water. But out of the trees a little bit here. So you can start seeing some, some really cool views. It's going to get better the higher we get. And here was number nine, directly after eight. <laughs> Not rushing, but uh, definitely the rocks were a little wetter, so I had to go from basically that one over... To, to, to the pointy one to that one and then over not too bad just one big step that was uh you know a little annoying but not too bad
Here's another dry one. It's two in a row. We're still stuck at nine. I thought for sure I would have had ten by now, but there is one coming up here like a half a mile or so that shows you cross it, you go over, and it's like another branch of it you cross. So it's like two, but if it's all the same one, it would just count as one in my rules. I don't know if there's really rules, but I'm pretty sure we'll get to 10 river crossings before the day's over. All right, it's a mini one, but a water crossing nonetheless. That's number 10. And there's another hiker just passed coming southbound and said that there was a couple more up here. So definitely going way past 10, but I wanted to show you number 10. All right, I'm going to stop here in about a half a mile. I have a little snack, five mile mark for the day. About two miles at that point will be about two miles before Mather. So, you know, get a little snack in before we get to the pass. All right, see y'all later. Storm clouds starting to build about three miles from the top of Mather Pass. It's like an open field here with rocks that are climbing up right now. That's where I just came from. 11 crossings so far, water crossings so far. Had a successful day in crossing them. But uh, time to get up Mather Pass and start getting down. Hopefully before any rain hits. Gray rainy skies. No rain yet, but I could see some in the distance falling, but it doesn't look stormy tonight. It just looks kind of overcast. Hopefully that's the way it's going to stay. This is where we are right now, surrounded by mountains. Obviously not up high yet. I think I've got about another thousand feet to go. I'm not sure. It might be one of these or one of those. I think it's one of these probably because of the height we have left, only a thousand. But it could be this. I never know, to be honest. And I don't really look at the map too often, only if the trail gets a little shady and I don't know really where I am. And I want to make sure that I don't get off the trail. Uh, or if I'm looking for water. Besides that, or at night when I want to figure out, you know, how far to the next pass or whatnot or where I want to go. Besides that, I don't really look at it too much when I'm here, so yeah, that would probably narrow down which one is which, but uh, I don't do that because it's time consuming, so figure it out when we get there, but uh, I think it's just a couple miles and like I said, about a thousand feet at this point, so that'll be going down uh, stomach and abdomen, been a little upset ever since the uh, river, so I'm moving a little bit slower now. I have to take a stop for a minute because I'm having some sharp pains in my gut. I think I'm okay now. I just, you know, I want to take it easy. I was going at a pretty good track of speed this morning. I think it's still morning actually, but anyway, enough about that. <laughs> Beautiful views. I love doing this little effect on my phone so you can see what's in front of me and behind me. It's a really cool effect. Because I again, my whole goal and mission on this channel 
is to make you feel like you're right here with me experiencing my heartaches and my pains and my body aches and the joys and the beauty everything because i know a lot of people will never get to do this a lot of people i'm so lucky that i'm getting to do it even if i don't finish every step i take is another step of beauty that i wouldn't have got to take and i want to share that with every one of you so hopefully you can see that and all the different views pictures and videos i'm taking here so not is it only cool to see new tops mountain tops and passes and peaks every day and new types of mountains every day which just surrounds you and there's so many different types i don't know my rock structures very well to even know what kind they are i do know though that the red is iron and this is always cool to me right over there that red mountain is basically the area i started from today and here i am going up a peak another peak it's awesome to see that and to know that you made that much uh, forward progress for the day and it's not even noon yet all right i think about a mile and a half from the top of the pass and then descending all right so according to what it looks like on the map now we got all this right here it's a beautiful lake there but right there it looks like is Mather Pass the top of it where we start going over uh, not 100% sure on that but it looks like about that and about probably about a mile left maybe five or six hundred feet not too bad this has been a very nice relaxing trail so far as you can see this is not normal for a pass so I hope it this way going down because it's very glidey <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll see you up there Rocks scrambling and rocks, smaller stones going up this. I was told by the guy earlier that uh, it's pretty much that dirt trail, except for coming down, it started getting stones. But he was going the other direction. So maybe when he said down, he meant this side, which is up for me. So I'm hoping this means that going down is gonna be back to that nice sandy dirt soft trail again. But this is fun on the feet, man. Or on the back. This is not too much further. Right up there. Just right there. 0.1 miles. It's straight now. Did all the switchbacks. Once I got up on the actual ascension, big ascension, I should say, it was. You probably can't hear me. Once I got up there, the first half a mile was rough. All rocks, boulders, had to do some rock scrambling. You've seen some of it, I think, on here, but it got pretty hairy for a couple of times there. Uh, my Speed Goat Hoka shoes are hardly any tread left, so when your shoes feel like they don't want to live anymore, <laughs> they don't really like that. So uh, here we are. All right, top of Mather Pass. Oh, that looks cool. Those clouds are on top of the peak up there. This looks like it might be just as hairy as it was coming up. We gotta go up. I don't understand that. We gotta go up and then down, but whatever. Mather Pass looks like it's gonna push us to the limits. But we're on top of it. 
Master Pass is in the bag. Time to go down. For those watching at home, it looks like a storm might be coming and it looks like it might be snow unless it's really, really low clouds. Pretty sure that's snow. So we're gonna get it off Mather Pass here really quick even though these clouds over here are extremely awesome, but man, are they moving quick. We're going down there hopefully somewhere so we're gonna try to get down those trees and that water and have shelter and of course right there it looks like it's a lot more clear so. We'll see. Wish us luck. Rainy and stormy. Just came from way up there. Trying to get down as fast as can. Getting rained on, getting wet. I'm sure up top it was a little bit of snow. It looked like it. Uh, and it felt like freezing rain when I got about, oh, I don't even know, a couple hundred feet down. Uh, it's 12,000 feet up in the air, the pass, so it's definitely susceptible to snow at any time of the year. Uh, but just trying to rush to get down. And uh, as you can see from the trail, it's not exactly easy to rush because it's slippery. It's a lot of loose rock for twisting ankles. We're just trying to get down here to where it's lower. Maybe get those trees. That looks like it's kind of staying up there. Uh, it's, at, for the meantime, the rain has slowed down, so... Maybe you dodge most of it, but that looks pretty hairy up there, pretty haunted. The lovely Dark Sierras. Mama Mia. Still in the raincoat. But we're getting drier. We outran it. He's up there still, I think. But this is just cool. Uh, not that those mountains. That one in the very far, right down there. It has a whole bunch of snow at the top. But I don't, I don't think that's one that we're going over because it looks like, according to map, we kind of go here and then turn left or something somewhere. But epic views again. <sighs> I'm not yawning, by the way. It just sounds like that. Check this cool rock formation of this mountain over here on my left. Well, you'd be looking straight at it, I guess, on the camera or on the, on the uh, YouTube video. Really awesome. The way the black is coming down and the uh, 
and you know he had bushes here and there i guess that might be granite i'm not sure kind of really white rock really looks cool yeah that's pretty cool Majestic. Nice little rapids. And this is number 20 today. And I'm going to cross on these logs because they look super safe. So I'm going to do it because Special Moments told me to. She says they're safe. She doesn't understand I might I might weigh more than her. Special moments was right. I did not fall in. So that's 20 river crossings a day, and I didn't fall in once. Woohoo! Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait. Boom. And it's still not done. I just think that's the, the best picture of this whole 360. Actually, that's pretty darn cool right there, too. With the sun hitting, with the cloud shadows. That's awesome. I like it. This over here to me, though, looks like grease. Right there. That looks like grease. I'm going to get some Spanakopita. Some, uh... Some, uh, ooh, some Greek stuffed leaves, some meatballs, some baklava, yeah, this is awesome. So, it was cool coming into this, but yeah, get down here and you see it looks like grease, that's pretty awesome. Little marmot just taking a little siesta, chilling out, looking at the pretty water. So I uh, got about 14 or 15 miles in and a second storm was brewing that I could see in the distance uh, in one of the mountains. And I'm like, yep, that was going to hit us, I could tell. Uh, going to set this tent up real quick because it needed to air out anyway because it was a little damp from last night. So I'm... Uh, being camped next to the lake, a little condensation, and you know, I just wrapped it up and went on the way this morning, so I never had a chance to air out. So I tried to get it up, let it air out a little bit, but basically, by the time I uh, got the tent up, it started raining. So I jumped inside real quick, brought the backpack with me. As you can see, it's not normally in here, not a whole lot of room, uh, but I thought I'd bring it in so I could get the uh, sleeping pad and the sleeping bag and all set up but as you can see and probably here it's raining pretty good uh, got this room down here that i could slide down right now but it has the condensation on it so i'm going to try to dry that up a little bit with some bandanas uh, but get everything set up and uh, hopefully be able to get out of here before bedtime <laughs> do some cooking and stuff and uh, get a good early start on tomorrow but uh, for now holding out the storm That's sunshine, where that little blue is, where it was black as black could be. Storm came through over there now. But it's 5.30 and I don't want to take the tent down. <laughs> right there's the tent, all kinds of water on it, but now I can cook. Mashed potatoes and I'm gonna put some beef jerky in there. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. I'll see you all in the morning.